Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Hi there guys, my name is Danielle. You could call me Danny and welcome back to my channel. Gosh darn it Manny, he has me saying this now. As you already know, I am hopping on to the trending train and I am doing, I try following a tutorial blank and today I'm doing Manny on your way. So I feel like to get into the Manny MUA spirit, I need to get something of Manny MUA, you know what I'm saying? So just give me one second. This is going to be my first time trying this. Ready? Let's see if we can do it. Awesome. That was so pigmented. Like so pigmented. Oh my gosh, shut up. Let's get started. Today I'm going to follow his tutorial on the budget friendly full face makeup transformation. That speaks to me on a spiritual level because you know I love a good deal. As always, if you guys do not like this video, if you guys do not like me, please don't flip it and watch it. You know the deal with that. And if you're new, <laughs> hi, my name is Danny MUA. Just kidding, it's just Danny. My welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> so let's get started on watching his so I actually don't know how to do the whole like putting a little picture thing right here. I'll try to figure out if not. Then you'll just have to listen to it like I be. So I got my lovely dandy iPad with me. And we're going to get started. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> uh... So he just did a montage. Should I do a montage? Nah. Well. <sighs> nah. What is up you guys? It's been a minute since I have filmed and just Snapchat right here floating in the air. This is my Snapchat handle. Follow it. <gasps> Ooh, should I leave my Snapchat? Follow me on Snapchat, guys. So, let's go and get started on today's video. First things first, we're going to prime our skin. I don't really have a drugstore or budget-friendly equivalent for a primer. You guys know a primer. Oh, honey, there's a lot in the world. There's a lot. It's a little bit more budget-friendly. Let me know in the comments bar below. But for now, I'm going to be using the Morphe Prep and Set Setting Spray. This is a prepping and setting spray. So, I'm going to prep the skin. And this is back in stock, so I'm like, bitch, I'm going to use it. <laughs> okay, T, I actually... Um, did like a huge Morphe haul and the spray was all sold out so Morphe get on that anyways to prep my skin I'm gonna be using the aqua primer mist by elf cosmetics hold up there you go <laughs> love 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 the setting spray I love that it's a, such a fine mist I also love the fact that it keeps my makeup on a lot fucking longer when I am using it and of course when I'm using it to prep as well and you guys know of course I am an affiliate with Morphe you can use my code MANNYMUA in all caps in store or online if you guys Manny want MUA. to save some coin on some Morphe stuff I do have a couple Morphe items in today's video so I just want to let you guys know I am an affiliate with them I try not to push too hard about it but I do like to let you guys know that I am a Morphe affiliate that's not like I'm putting my fucking code on a hoodie so I grabbed these are the two like cost of are we just gonna pretend he didn't just say James Charles? <laughs> just kidding. I wanted that hoodie, sister. Why? Why haven't you brought it back? Okay, I need it. Okay. Efficient foundations that are probably my favorite. These are the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me, and I have the Milani Conceal and Perfect two-in-one foundation okay this is in the shade two natural like literally i'm in shade 122 creamy beans i like the finish of this one more than i like the finish of this one i feel like i'm gonna look really yellow with this but let's just try it oh we're going we're going bitch okay we're just gonna do a little bit of that because we're gonna do the maybelline we're gonna do maybelline matte and poreless in the shade 130 <gasps> and i'm gonna take that on a morphe y6 this Undertone is a lot more neutral, I feel. I actually really, really, really like this one. It's super pretty. I just like the coverage of the Milani one a little bit more. I like to go ahead and apply this kind of foundation with a dense kabuki brush. I know because he's like talking so fast to match at the drugstore. Like, that's when I have a problem matching my foundations. I don't like the same. Open it. We're gonna take this down the neck, too. We have to. Oh, down the neck? Okay. Difference. Jesus. I will make it a point to go out and buy more foundation. Shit. 
shades from the drugstore. I also feel like Maybelline has such a great range of shades in their Fit Me collection. You don't have to do the matte True. pore list. You can just do the normal Fit Me, and it's not as mattifying as this one is. Not saying this is super mattifying, because I still look like I look pretty fucking skinny. Like. For now, for affordable concealer, we have the Maybelline ah, Concealer, you guys. This is my favorite. Wait! The camera a little bit, because I thought it would be better. Okay, okay. He says, we're going to do the Master Concealer. Drugstore concealer that I have found so far. Other than the Maybelline Fit Me, that one's pretty cute, too. But this one has more coverage. So I'll, do, I'll just take a little dollop. This is in the shade Light, by the way. And I'll take my little... Why is that drop running down? That Ooh, is disgusting. I'm like, yeah. Okay, I just feel also does really good concealers. They have that other one that has like that little puff ball at the end of it. I don't like that one personally. It's not my kind of concealer that I like. I'm more of a fit me and studio kind of girl. A lot of people love that cute little like. Same. What the fuck that shit's called, honestly. And I'm taking this on my little Real Techniques beauty sponge. You can find it at the drugstore Got as well. Too. Such a great alternative to the beauty blender. Just as soft and just as squishy, and literally one fourth the price. So okay, now that we're concealed. I'm looking like fucking cunt. Wait, 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 I'm catching up, I'm catching up. looking cunty. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go and take the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette Contour. Dulce de Leche, that's what it's called. It's Dulce de Leche. And we're going to take this highlighting shade and we're going... Okay, so I don't have that. Instead, I'm going to use the Milani Prep and Set Go um, for the highlighting. And then I'm also going to be using the e.l.f. Um, Saint Lucia Sculpting thingy all right so that's what i'm going to be using just to let you know i'm going to go ahead and really saturate our brush and set underneath the eyes because i don't really have any of these that i want to use from the drugstore or more of a cost efficient i'm going to use an elf really powder brush kind of set. we're just setting right now i used to actually really not like this powder at all i was like not the biggest fan i was like why is everyone living for it but i gave it another try and i actually really 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 like it i think with makeup in general like you guys really need to continue to give things a try like i tried this the second time and i liked it a lot more than i liked it the first time so maybe if you guys try something and you don't love it the first time this feels weird go this is a expensive brush we're not going to talk about this foundation kind of sets itself it is a mattifying foundation i'm just gonna take whatever is left on the little brush and i'm just gonna run it over some spots of the face this is like so we can avoid having to use in a whole entire different setting pattern. Powder. When we're on a budget, sometimes you just don't have an excess powder to use, you know what I'm True. But guys, True. very, very little amount of it because you don't want to use too much because it will, like, highlight your entire face and that's not what you're, we're going for. I'm going to take that same Dulce Leche and I'm going to take that contouring shade and I'm going to take the Morphe Y9 favorite contouring brush ever. Put that into the hollows of uh, the contour, the contour. contour look. But not being too nice. I'm gonna use a BH a cosmetic brush. Well, just really make sure it all looks really cohesive and nice. And if you guys want to bronze, I just did a little bit of contouring right now. If you want to bronze, you guys totally can. I'm not I'm ready! Positions for me. Ah! He's still going too fast. Oh my gosh. Oh. Alright, I also turned off that light. I'm just doing a lot of things in this video while it keeps going in and out. Alright. Alright, what do you say next? Bronzer. I have that. I have that. Although I personally do not recommend this, um, it's a really strong coconut smell. Eh, I mean, I love coconut, don't get me wrong, I love coconut, but the smell of it just way too strong. Formula Butter Bronzer, which is my favorite bronzer from the drugstore. I absolutely love it on a Morphe E2. It's great for bronzing. It's great for powder. Elf Any kind powder of powder brush. application. This is fantastic. I'm just going to do a quick little one-two, you know, over everything, just to make sure everything's blended seamlessly between the bronzer and the contour shade. If you guys do not want to do this up, it's totally the Milani Luminous Hell Blush. I haven't used this brush in so fucking long. Holy Wait. shit. What did he do? He took the powder and put it under his contour? Okay. And then he does a Milani br bl blush. I do not have the one that he says, but I do have T Rose. So I'm going to be using that one. On a Morphe E4, it's just a beautiful, pretty, peachy pink blush. It has a little bit of sheen to it. Nothing too crazy, though. It's not something that's like overwhelmed. Like, fuck. Highlight all over. And I feel like this blush blends so nicely as well. We're going to use another this. Elf powder I haven't tried brush. this yet, but I just kind of want to show you guys on camera what it looked like. This is the ColourPop Pressed Powder Cheek in the shade... Take a little dab. I just want to see what this looks like on the skin. Just a little bit. Just add a... Oh, she painted me pink. This is the Highlight. Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. I've used this once on my channel before. It's fucking amazing. I've, I've used it many times. I don't I've have it. I've dipped into this bitch so many times. I think I've just talked about it once. It's so fucking... Manny, we don't cuss on this channel. 
we try not to anyways. But I'm going to be doing the Milani um, highlighter in the color Strobe Light or no, Snow Glow. Sun Glow. And the, and the color Sun Glow. I'm in Morphe M510, which is a really, really, really nice little highlighting brush. It's really great. It's really compact. Like, I'm sorry, but for the drugstore, bitch. Like, come on. From the fucking waist up, bitch. Whenever I get, like, so hyped Man, makeup, I get so, like, cursy. I apologize for that. I get things so hyped, like, I get, like, I want to just scream. Mmm. Bitch, are you kidding? Like, I'm sorry, but this truly, to me, is, like, the prettiest drugstore highlighter that I've ever used. Other than the wet and wild uh, this is the prettiest one. I love so much, too. We are using budget-friendly items, but we are going to look snatched to the fucking ground, and we are not gonna look budget. That's for fucking sure. I guarantee motherfucking tea. We ain't gonna look like we on a budget. <laughs> I think I'm gonna contour my nose a little bit. I'm a little scared though because I use a specific contour nose. My nose. I, I suck at this part. I suck at this. Use it to contour my nose. Not bad. And we're taking that on a Morphe brush. I don't know. I'm using an elf contour brush. I like it for nose contouring because it's tapered, but it's really, really fluffy. I think it's part of the rose gold collection. I'll figure it out and I'll put a link down below. That's pretty fucking good. If I say so myself. Taking that same Morphe setting spray. You're gonna do another one too. Wait. So we just finished off with the cutie. Ah. Manny, espérate. So there's... Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. Okay, what's next? Now I'm ready. I'm ready. And I think it looks super, super snatched. I think that we did a really, really great job at picking budget-friendly items to do the complexion. We it did. Beautiful. It looks like I'm wearing high-end foundation, high-end everything. Other than this blush, True, right? I've worn everything else on my face, and I think it looks fucking beautiful. And I know it will last nicely on the skin. So let's go ahead and move on to the brows and the eyes. And we will go ahead and continue on with this tutorial. So this is what the face looks like up close, you guys. This is what she looks like. Should I zoom in? I don't know how to zoom in. Here, maybe I'll just move in. Is that good? I'm a little, is that good? I'm a little closer now, but not as close as he is, but it's okay. If you wanted to see professional, just watch this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on and move on to the brows and I'm gonna do one brow on camera or at least like more of a sped up like version of my brow on camera and I really want to okay. talk about this product really quickly. I'll do that I too. For, and I actually really really like it. This is the new Morphe Micro Brow Pencil. It is five dollars. I have never found a cheaper alternative to a brow product than this one for five bucks and it actually works really. Why does everyone use brow pencil? Okay, I I can't do brow pencil. I have to do the gel pomade stuff. Well, I'm gonna be using the Elf pomade in uh espresso and i'll be also using their eyeliner brush because it's cute nicely i will say that the anastasia brow is, is a little bit better i do like it a little bit more for sure i think that for someone on a budget five bucks for a fucking brow pencil that's so fair but i will notice that these do dry out a little bit faster than the other brow pencils that i have do so make sure that you do keep the cap and cap it because they will dry out a little bit quicker i'm going to start to coat the brow i'm taking the shade mocha by the way there's a couple shades for it <gasps> espresso really nice mocha sweet. Consistency wise, it does remind me more of the Anastasia brow wiz. Like, it's not too creamy, but it's not too dry either. And how I like to do my brows, I like to start at the bottom base of my brow and then build from there. I have a major sparse area right there, so I like to fill that in. I could definitely go darker with the brow pencil, but I kind of like that it's lighter. I like to go like multiple colors with my brows. I'll do like a dark brow as fucks. Okay, uh, let me finish this one. Okay. And then I'm gonna do what he did, and I'm gonna do the other eye off camera. In that same Master Conceal concealer, and I'm gonna take a little bit, and that's gonna go on our eyelids as our eye primer. When we on a budget, bitch, we don't fucking, we ain't got no time for eye primer. So we're just gonna run that all over the eye, up to the brow bone. To finish off with the brow, I went ahead and I used that same concealer, and I lined the bottom of my brow with some concealer just to make it look a little bit more sharp. So we're gonna take that same wait, you did? Wet and Wild highlighting shape. Ah, wait. Why didn't you tell me this before? Ah, oh, my goodness. I never use concealer as my base, so this could actually be very bad. I got it under my eye. She's out. I'm already failing at this. Okay, um, shoot, what do I do with the concealer on my finger? Okay. 
So I'm going to just use a nice concealer brush from Morphe. And then I'm going to do what he did. And conceal my bottom of my eyebrows, I guess. Oh, shoot, man. Manny, why didn't you tell me this before? I'm coming for you. Hey, she's there. She's on. Okay, okay. We can do this. All right, and then he, he puts some powder on it. I can do that. I can do that. start on the eyes now I'm actually really, really really excited to be doing this because I'm going to be using the new morphe 3502 palette so morphe acquired investors and so now everything is kind of I just feel like everything is vamping up the presentation of everything is vamping up they just changed their logo out now it's this so we're gonna try the morphe 3502 and I just grabbed the 3502 just to compare for you guys just to see because I know a lot of you guys are asking me to use the 3500 3502 it's fucking beautiful and we have the 350 right here which is of course is also beautiful let me see if we can get both in the frame i can definitely tell that they are sisters they're not twins but they're definitely definitely sisters the 3502 is a right? lot more warm a little bit just different this shade okay. here is just speaking to me bitch so first things first i'm gonna go in with about this, this cute little transition right here on the top left corner on a morphe e27 really great blending brush i'm gonna put that into the crease i'm or using a bh number seven Fuck in. It's and just one of those shades using that's this really color. good for a transition. <laughs> Nothing too heavy. Just gonna make everything blend a little bit easier. I feel like since after Jacqueline's palette, everything's been stepped up a lot. Like, it really, really has. This feels more like Jacqueline's palette than any other palette I've ever tried from them. 35O, of course, is wonderful, and I've used that one so often, but I already feel like this one's a little bit better. Like, I really do. Mind you, I'm only going into one shade, so I don't really know technically, but that's just kind of like, as I'm talking, I'm just kind of talking out loud and sharing my opinion so far with you. So I'm going to go in with this, like, little, it's almost like a baby pukey uh -huh. shade. Wait, uh, wait. Oh, you're going too fast. Oh, my goodness. Is that how fast my videos are? Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, people. I'll, I'll try to go slower. Maybe not. Oh, my goodness. I think I might have went too high. Did I go too high? Shoot. I'm just so used to going higher than my crease. Right? You good? Good enough. Okay. Next he says he's going to do a pukey brown color, which I think it, he says this one, which is right below it. I can describe it as really, I have no idea. On a Morphe R39, which is a great condensed do, blending brush. It reminds me a lot of the... Uh, like, BH uh, number 8. Style brush. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do it on the outer corner. That is so pretty. We're just gonna run that all the way into the inner corner. Yeah, that's fucking nice. Ooh, and then, guys, so when I'm on the outer corner of my eye, because I do have this hooded lid action going on over here, I tried to take it up a little bit higher and like fade the crease a little bit higher <gasps> Me too. towards the end of my eye, just so it looks like it's all like, you know what I mean? Just so it's all like elongated out here, and I will blend that out again with that E27 just to give it a little like more of a seamless blend. So now what we're gonna do guys, we're gonna take this really pretty deep ass like maple red Wait, you didn't even do the other eye. Wait, you... ah. I look like I just smeared brown all over my eye. That's okay. It's whatever. It looks cute on Manny. Maybe it'll look cute on me. Okay, I'm caught up. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. Brown. This one is a little bit more fallout or a little bit more powdery kickback than the other shades did so far. Just true, an observation true. that I did notice. This is on a Morphe R39. It's continuing on with that. And I'm going to put that a little bit lower than... Wait, wait, wait. What color did he color use? <laughs> I didn't see it. the crease a little bit high. Deep oh, ass, like okay. maple red brown. This, this one? one? A little bit more fallout or a little bit more powdery kickback than the other shades did so I far. Just an observation it. that I did notice. This is on a Morphe R39. It's continuing on with that. And I'm going to put that a little bit lower than that original pukey shade right there on the eye it blends and it looks just as nice as the other shade did so i ain't mad at it if it's nice on the eye and it blends nicely you're gonna give a fuck about fucking fallout a little bit of fallout nah so i'm swatching right now some colors for the lid so wait i'm not at the lid yet wait wait oh, are you going too fast okay i seriously think i missed this one but this one looks nice i like this one okay this one looks really good this one looks like crap Let me use the clean side, maybe I can. <gasps> ooh, 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 I think I'm fixing it. Yes. Now I'm ready for the lid. So now I'm gonna take that really pretty goldeny type shade and I'm gonna run this that one. on the lid. This one 
right here. I'm gonna put on the lid. So this shape, guys, Ooh. as I'm putting it on, I noticed that this one's a little bit more flaky than mm -hmm. the other shimmery shades are. I just noticed it like right now. But it's very, very pretty on the actual eye. Yeah, it's just like one of those shades that's like really flaky and then it kind of stays on your finger. I can't really explain it. It's like hard to explain that kind of shade. You're better off packing on than swiping, but it looks fucking sick on the eye. Mmm. Go ahead and wipe out. But he says he's gonna wet a brush. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush. And I'm gonna use that same e.l.f. Mist. Okay. Now let's see how this works. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay. Okay, so so far so good. We have everything on the eye. It looks fucking beautiful on the it eye. It does. I'm so happy. So now we're gonna mix a couple of these shades, guys. We're gonna mix a couple of these two right here. Okay. This guy over here. We're gonna blend that underneath the lash line. This part I feel like you don't need these to be two. too like meticulous with. On a Morphe R41, we're running it underneath the lash line. We're More using so blending brush by Elf. And blending a little bit into the inner corner because I do want to put that really pretty copper on the inner part of my eye. You guys, honestly, I definitely see myself using this palette more. I'm really, really, really Me excited too. about it that it just came out. I believe that this bad boy launches on the 12th of October, so it's actually clean shine. And he's talking about this one right mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking that on a Morphe M210. Now I'm taking that same dark plummy shade <gasps> on the Ooh. lower lash line that I took in the crease to make it deeper to give us some dips. Yep. Wait, he's going too fast. Uh, I can't keep up. All right, so then he's going to take this and then he's going to mix it together. Okay. The price of being Manny, to be honest. <laughs> okay. 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 Alright, we got that. What's next? I want to take that little bit of that black and I'm going to put that on the outer corner. Holy fuck! Your language. Okay. I'm taking that on a Morphe R36. Amazing pencil brush. BH10. Take a little bit into the crease. Really low though, guys. We're just really keep, keeping it concentrated on the outer corner. So it gives a little bit of darkness on the outer corner, but not make it look too, like, NARS sparkly. you know what I'm saying? I'm genuinely very happy with how this is looking right now. I love how it looks. Taking a little bit more of that gold. Okay, so now he's uh, putting, like, a fake eyeliner thing. I can do that. I can do fake eyeliner. Ooh. Yeah, girl. You doing it right. doing like little pressing motions to really make sure the glue is down. Okay, much better. Much better. Go ahead and curl the lashes. So I grabbed this little guy from Rimmel. This is the Shake It First Clump Free Volume Mascara. Don't have that. Literally shaking the fucking bitch. That sounds like gross. Shake weight. So pull it out. This is what the one looks like. I actually have not tried this before. I really wanted to try I'm this. I'm using one. um so Ulta Beauty Maxim lashes. Time. This is the only like drugstore ish kind of mascara that I own. Sorry, I know I suck. Clump free volume, and I see literally no volume. I see clump free. I agree with the clump free claim. Oh, she rough. Oh, this is rough. Okay, so I'm actually Supporter. not going to be using a nice pair of lashes today. Usually when I'm doing drugstore videos, I always use like a pair of like mink lashes from a brand that's like high end. Today I really wanted to keep it to doing something that's a little bit more affordable. So I'm going to be taking the Faux Mink Ardell lashes from Ardell. These can be found at the drugstore. And I'm going to stack two pairs because I need something. I need something. I need something. I'm sorry. So I'm going to stack the 811s and I'm going to stack the 812s together. I have that one. Okay, you guys. So I just literally try to put on those two. Wait. I have that one. See, I, it is right there, the 811. I gotta get it out of here somehow. Okay, before we resume Manny, I just want to take offense because I love Ardell lashes, okay? So you say that they are not a good pair. Hurts my feelings, okay? I learned how to put on lashes by Ardell, okay? Rude. Two pairs of Ardell Wispies. They were literally so animal and they looked really, really bad. And I didn't want to subject you guys to that. So what I decided to do is grab the Vegas Nay Eye Lure Luxe Collection Bronze Beauty Lashes. I'm gonna go and just take this pair of lashes instead. I have I okay, T, I did have those, but then I lost them. So we're gonna keep the Ardell. 
and apply these because these look so much these look so much better okay and here we have the actual lashes on for the lip i'm gonna do something really really very and intense this is the new ColourPop ultra satin lip in the shade step okay i don't have that and the only uh drugstore um affordable type lippy i have is this one and it's very vibrant to the one that he has right now um but this is the only one i have otherwise it would be like jeffrey star or huda beauty or something and we all know that's not very affordable so this is an elf this is in very short butt all right let's see what he does and this is from their new holiday collection coming out so i want to do this shade on the lip and see what we're having mm -hmm. that's beautiful okay we're gonna do that i love their ultra satin lips so much oh she is feeling her fucking oat bitch and that is it you guys that's it for today's entire wait, a bit? wait. tutorial using things that aren't ah wait i didn't finish my lips all right y'all that is all that i have for you today that is all manny has for us today um i know i used a way brighter lip than he did but honestly i'm like legit living it with for it it's so pigmented <laughs> um let's give myself a radio okay my skin i love my skin honestly i love the choices he made except for the wet and wild i did not have that um i'm not much of a wet and wild person i've had some very bad experience with I think I made my um, eyeshadow a little more bolder than his, but I mean, that's okay. Hey, ow. Only <laughs> hit the wall. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I still think I did pretty well on him. Like, do you guys see that? And when he was talking about lashes, girl, these are perfectly fine. I feel so glam. The highlight, honestly, guys, if you're gonna get a. Uh, drugstore highlight i highly recommend the sun glow by milani do you peep that glow amazing uh thank you so much manny you have been a very huge inspiration to me um i love the video i love watching all your videos and i hope i did you justice if you hated it i'm sorry i love you so much <laughs> anyways uh thank you guys so, so much for watching me i'm sorry i'm not techie and know how to put the little bar up there but if you want to watch this video i'll make sure to leave a link down below and you can see the total difference of what the makeup looks look like Ugh. okay uh thank you so much again for watching guys if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up make sure to please subscribe down below usually i do not have such a bad background you know um i've actually been updating my vanity and stuff so this is in the mixture of like a making and stuff hopefully it'll be ready next time but if not i'll see you with this hideous background ignore that stuff over there my little food junkiness right there anyways if you want to follow me on my amazing makeup journey okay amazing too good of a word if you want to follow me um here's my instagram it is at mtz.danielle um, I just created a snapchat so if you want to add me it is right here it is Danny's snaps and yeah thank you so much for watching I love you guys so much Mwah. did it work no let's try it one more time, one more time. no I don't just go put on her shirt then I still haven't beat my whole face dang he talks so fast oh my goodness I'm going so fast, oh my gosh. Beat that face.